Hello and welcome to the valley, the urban farm. You join us today and we are just about to pop up to the, just about, we are popping up to the, to the store to go and pick up some herbicide, a spray of some weeds in our, in our wheat field. Is it wheat or barley? Well, I guess one of the two. <laughs> My memory these days is just shot. In any case, let's pick up the the herbicide and pop on down. I was, I did have a good look around to see whether I could find something of reasonable price to be able to do spot spraying, but at this stage I can't quite afford it. So we'll just use our little John Deere with a 400 litre tank on the back, shouldn't take too much. And we'll just spray off all these weeds. Yeah, so we'll take a little bit of a knock on the precision farming side. But yeah, it's just, it's just a bit too expensive to buy, um, to buy a sprayer with, with everything on there. It does work really well, this little sprayer. Just the width is not that great. You don't want to do a field much bigger than this, really, with, uh, with the reach of the sprayer. But it does make this John Deere system very, very versatile and this small type of operation, really. Can just about see where the edges are. I think if I keep using the system, I might go back to my really old system where I used to spray for weeds before the first uh, before germination, and that seemed to work quite effectively. Of course. If you're using precision farming, you want to be spraying after germination so that you can spot spray and you can see the basically the the sensors can then pick up the weeds a lot easier than when they're really tiny before germination of the actual crop. Well, this is whizzing through quite quickly. Very manageable field this. I haven't thought too far ahead in terms of harvesting, but I think the way the money is at the moment, we've got what looks like a reasonable amount now, but we've got a, that pretty much all that money has been allocated really. And once we've done that, I think we're going to be on a pretty tight budget for a while. Yeah, that's looking good. Looking good. Well, straight into the edge rows. Can you believe it? Oh man. How did that happen? Well, I know that had to happen. Lack of concentration or something. <laughs> oh dear. I think that's just about it done. Yeah. There's probably going to be some spots where I must come back and do that at the later stage, as long as we get it done before before harvesting. Can't see any offhand, but I'm pretty sure there will be some little spots that we must. Let's go and offload this. go all done right and I think we've got some crops in the big yep we've got some crops in the big greenhouse we'll go and collect those sell those as soon as we can go and get the forklift 
yeah, I'm pretty happy with this electrical for forklift. I have been warned to make sure that I don't run out of charge. <laughs> it seems to be pretty efficient on the charge at this point in time. I do I do have the the setting to normal, so then again we're not use, using going very we're not traveling very far. But the tractor as well is also pretty efficient on the on the power usage. And this one considering the lifting that it's doing. Not gonna complain at this point in time. We do have a charging station on the farm, so no problem at all with that. It's quite pleasing to get our first crop out of the greenhouses. The potatoes, of course, uh, produce a lot quicker. And they, um, they're probably going to be the mainstay of our income. But they don't sell for a huge amount per ton. That's why they produce it quickly, so... I think we should get a better price for these. Strawberries, not such a great price, but uh, tomatoes, lettuce, should be reasonable. Okay, pallet number three up. So because this These are perishable products. We are not in a position to store to store them and wait for the price to be right. We pretty much got to move them within a day or so from um, from the farm and get them sold. We in the business of fresh produce, so that's kind of how we're going to be playing this. So we're not going to be storing product that can't or that should not be stored. And that includes potatoes, really, because I know potatoes can be stored if they store at the right temperature. So if we have a refrigerated warehouse or something like that, we can put them in there. But I don't think there is a refrigerated warehouse at this point in time. In or certainly on console on FS22. I stand on the correction. If anybody knows of one, give me a shot because that could bring another dimension into the into the gameplay, of course. So I'm just uh, going to take the show the actual route. Um, shouldn't be a problem. It's a little bit, little bit of a way we're selling at the pizzeria, but it just gives you another feel for the map. An area that we haven't gone through before. Nice windy road. Yes, I have heard through the socials that this map is going to be getting an update. And it's probably going to need a new save. I thought I'd waited long enough <laughs> before I started on this map, uh, but obviously not. Oh dear, looks like we lost. This can't be the pizzeria. Uh, we'll just do a U-turn and continue our journey. Yeah, as I was saying, um, looks like there's going to have to be a new save, so I'll had a quick squiz at the change log that they had on the Facebook page and it doesn't look like I'll need to update straight away but I'll wait for it to come out and then have a closer look at it um, so there may be 
a situation where we'd have to reconstruct how far we've got but um, if possible it may, it may be that I don't need to make the actual update before we end the series. Not that I'm thinking about ending the series right now, I've still got a long way to go. But it'll be a decision, or a pretty big decision that'll have to be taken. Right, so uh, looks like I've eventually found the pizzeria. I'm going to deliver these strawberries and tomatoes. Not quite sure why they, well, I suppose. They would want the strawberries for the desserts. Haven't heard of strawberries on pizzas before. Do you get sweet pizzas? I don't know. Right, let's have a look and see if we're going to make decent money or not. 800 and odd. Yeah, I'm not going to get rich quickly, but uh, <laughs> yeah, those must be uh, 400 litre pellets. Well, it's part of the game. You've got to sell what you produce. The prices, as I said, we can't afford to wait for the price to be high because it's fresh produce so we've got to get it sold otherwise it would just rot. Right so let's get our daily potato run in. Just make it to the top of the hill. And these guys don't have Drivers don't have any regard for right of way. Just got to keep an eye on them. <laughs> right, so we've purchased the bottom field. I thought I'd recorded it, but I didn't. So I apologise for that. Okay, so we'll take the grass off it, make it into hay and get that sold and then we'll put a new production unit on there. There we go, it's the last of the hay of the field. Didn't think uh, you would want to sit through another whole 20 minutes of uh, grass cutting, tedding and windrowing and collection and then more exciting things like buying new greenhouses that's what we want to do we want to start building the things that make the money let's just go and drop this off quickly Not going to be a huge amount, but every little bit helps, as they say. Yeah, and you see immediately because we've got that new field here, our environmental score has gone down. So let's put in a Greenhouse for producing grapes. Put that down there and then there we go. So we need to replenish that. We'll do that off camera. And then to changes from a field, I think I'll just put dirt down. 
so that it will um, yeah there we go just put the dirt down I will use the small one yeah, it always amazes me that it doesn't always go to the edge of the of the field I know some you know you have to change the brush the brush size and that type of thing but so we'll just use the bigger brushes to get the basics done and then we'll go and pick up some smaller brushes and do the nooks and crannies there we go Let's not mess around get the big one out yeah hopefully that will then change this from a precision farming requirement to have this field analysed right I think it's pretty much where we're going to end this episode it's just about done once again thank you for watching if you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe pop a comment down if you want to and we'll see you in the next episode cheerio